about 10 months ago, I made a video about upgrading OpenWRT and keeping the larger disk size. For example, in x86 devices, uh, basically every time you run with extended four file system, you can grow it afterwards if you need more space like I do. I ended this video with me saying that I don't know the perfect solution of how to upgrade an open WRT system and I believe I have found a quite good solution. As a matter of fact, I developed myself one. As I have been working with Ansible for about two years now, I wanted to make a solution for OpenWRT as I used it in a development environment and as it grew more mature, actually I have been administering all my OpenWRT devices, which are maybe like six devices uh, up until now, all centrally with Ansible. So I can make centralized configuration snippets, which I provide, let's say, for my uh, Wi-Fi configuration, just define it once and use it many. Every time I was doing an upgrade, it was kind of a hassle. There are several different issues with OpenWRT when it comes to upgrading. One, I would like to keep my partition sizes. Two, I would like to keep my configuration. Of course, this is actually no problem at all with OpenWRT, even in the stock version without managing it with Ansible. And I would like to keep my packages as well. So uh, if you're familiar with PFSense or OPNSense, it's kind of a one-click deal. You say, okay, let's upgrade. This, this is something I wished for in a long time with WRT, and I came up with a solution. Let me show you. Here you can see an APU device I run as an access point. And as you can also see, it is running 2203.2. On 9th of January, 2203.3 was released and I would like to burn it onto my device. This is my GitHub repository and I happened to have released version 0.4.3 today. As you can see below here, the collection has become quite extensive. Quite a lot of different things can be handled with it. What we will be focusing on is the image builder role. This is the documentation. You can find it on my wiki. It is linked, of course, in the description. And I will show you right now how to use it in order to get the best experience of an OpenWT upgrade. Here we are right now on my Ansible controller device with which I deploy all my configurations to the different OpenWT devices I have. But we can also use it as a build system to create my very own and individual image for my individual device. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the role we will be using. It's the image builder role. And here you can see I've set some variables. For example, this is where I would like uh, my images to be put when they are when they're finished. And on top here, this is my path where the, the whole image process is taking place. For all those roles, I have to define that they are being run in the image builder version so that they behave a little bit differently as this is not a live system but only a path where I would like to put all my configurations into. Below here in the task section I include all the different roles I would like to use during the build process. Then I will start the process and I would like to do it only for this specific device right now. Okay, this might take some time because it is compiling stuff. OpenWRT's standard is to build images for x86 with a size of 128 megabytes, which for my purposes is too small. So I built in some modification methods so you can say how big you would like your partition sizes to be. With these Ansible configuration variables, you can define how big the partition size can be. As there are some limits because DD is used in the background, there is an arbitrary limit. When I tried to build an image of the size of 20 gigabytes, it failed. So when you use something like two or three gigabytes, you're safe. I'm trying to find a solution for that, but right now it suffices.
There are actually some limits to this because some tasks can only be made on a live environment. For example, I use RESTIC for doing the backups of my OpenWRT systems. This needs initialization on the target and this can only be done on the live system. So even though the full configuration files are being implemented into my very individual image, it still needs an Ansible run afterwards. Fast forwarding, then decompress it and within the bin directory you can find the target files. Switch back to your target device and say flash flash image, browse, switch to this folder, select the extended for combined, not FE, but extended for combined, and then upload it. Since the partition size is a little bit bigger than 120 megabytes, it will take a little bit more time to decompress. Okay, then let's start the upgrade process. I have made a backup before, of course, for security purposes. A few minutes later and the device is back again. We will log in just to check if we are on the right version, which is 22 or 3.3, which is fine. And as I said before, we need to do another run. This time we will be using the OpenWRT default playbook. And we are finished. I hope you guys had fun and you learned something. If you have any suggestions or questions, go ahead. Thank you and bye.